Hello and welcome back to our Papal State campaign in Europa Universalis 4. In the last episode we... Go away you, and you, and you. In the last episode we gained back our core of Ravenna. There's quite a bit of devastation here. And, uh, well, there's probably going to be more when we when we take the lands that uh, are rightfully ours. Like I said, we just need to wait until we have 800 Splendor. We can get our claim on friends as well. We definitely don't want to take this without uh, a claim. Because, let's be fair, this is uh, quite a high-leveled area. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to take the inflation. 75 dip seems nice. There's golden arrow for the Mamluks. Don't care. Uh, what happened to you? You're at war with Burgundy. Don't really care. Yeah, the plan is, uh, wait until I can get a claim here. Go in, take all of Florence. There's a 28 dev here. I do not want to go into taking a 28 dev province without having a fucking claim. Not a chance. Uh, we're going to accept knowledge sharing from Urbino. It's cheap. And uh, we'll be able to get these two up and running with, uh, with uh, uh, the institution. Toot motherfucking sweet. Sorry, Milan. Just getting it done. Because, I mean, at the moment, it costs 60 ducats. I don't want to spend 60 ducats. I like money. And I can... It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fire. And then we're going to be able to take it. And that's only going to cost us a ducat. That's annoying. That's really annoying because I can't get there. Shit. There's nothing I can do about that. Avignon's going to be free. Fuck. It's 10 prestige. It's better than the war exhaustion. There's no way I can get over there. This guy isn't going to let me through. France isn't going to let me through. They both hate me, so fuck them. Alright, 765. It's soon. It's going to happen soon. Uh, we can rival Lucca, hopefully? No. Uh, let's rival Siena again. He's still a free city, though, so there's no way I'm going to be able to get to war with him without, you know, attacking Ragusa or Savoy. Savoy now, is it? You bring in Genoa Saluzzo. Ragusa would bring in the Ottomans. That's not what I want. But the Ottomans are probably protecting them so that they can attack them later. So as soon as they're not doing that, that's when we need to strike. Come on, how soon? How soon? How soon? 775. It's gonna happen soon. We'll call my dude from Austria. Let's improve relations with our vassals. Eventually we will want to uh, integrate them both. Oh wow, Austria ruined uh, Venice, taking uh, Zara and Split. Well, that's what he deserves, honestly. Not not worried about it. Trent has joined a trade league led by Venice. Damnation indeed. Truce of Switzerland is over, didn't know I had one. Come on, soon. 195. Present there, okay, so the cost right now is 14 ducats. I mean, it's not going to be too long, is it, before I can just take it? I kind of want to wait still. <laughs> I really do. It's going up at two per month. We're so close. I am going to wait. I am just simply going to wait for it. There's the ability. Let's do claims bordering claims, yes. That means friends will get a claim on, we'll get a claim on... Uh, Lucca, and we'll get a claim on Pisa, and now our claims are looking rather nice. You can tell where we want to go. We have the claims, but I do want to wait until we get the uh, institution. Okay, I'm just gonna... No, 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 no. It's, it's so close. It's so close. Five months. Five months is all it's gonna take. And then we can take it. It's going to cost us a ducat. It's going to save us 13 valuable ass ducats. And then uh, and then we're going to go in and, and take Florence. We're going to take uh, Pisa. Neither of which are in the Empire, I don't think. Oh no, uh, Florence is, but who cares. It's going to be great. Don't worry about it. 
Burgers lose loyalty, burgers gain loyalty. I'm going to make the burgers gain loyalty. Because I uh, can't afford to piss off my estates. Much more than I already have. Come on, Spalletto. One more month. Come on. Come on. Yay! It's now only a ducat. And now we take that. We take that. Still can't take Diplotech. We're still on Diplotech 4. Oh god, it's so bad. Alright, so Latin Medieval Infantry are going to change into Men at Arms. Latin Knights are going to stay at Latin Knights. And then our idea group is going to be... Uh, I kind of want to go with a dip idea. What do we go for a mission? Found the Vatican Library. Yeah. Yeah. Catholic Church possesses a vast multitude of written works from across the ages. Funding has been secured to consolidate and expand the knowledge of Christendom by establishing a magnificent library within the walls of the Vatican. The foundation of the Vatican Library will establish Rome as the center of the scholarly world. So, okay, so fund a library about the military arts gives me five mil power, and the Vatican Library gives me military tech cost negative five percent and army tradition from battles plus fifty percent. I assume that's till the end of the game. Diplo tech cost and diplo relations, admin tech cost and natural un national unrest. I think I'm gonna go with the admin one. Establish it and focus on the administrative works. So until the end of the game, I assume, I'm gonna have some cheaper admin tech and lower unrest. I wonder if that unrest happens. It's national unrest, so yeah, it's the entire nation. That's cool. I love that. Right, we're gonna go, oh, what's this now? Uh, yeah, inflation is only a number. We could make this a state. Probably not wise to do it right now. And I don't know what I want for my idea group, so we're going to ignore it for now. We're going to our full morale, and then we're going to go in. We're going to beat the shit out of these Florentine peasants in the hills, and then we're going to siege Firenze. Which shouldn't be too difficult, considering our huge amount of spy network. Alright, there we go. Uh, let's come in from here. Lower the speed, down to speed 4, and let's declare the... Transfer trade power. Shit, forgot about that. Alright, cancel that. I need a diplomat. You come back. Right, now we're going to do it. And also, he's been excommunicated, so... As long as he doesn't get... Uh, re-elected or someone gets re-elected instead of him first of august 58 if he has 10 year term limits we've got a year to win the war 12th of march let's go we have a truce since when do we have a truce comes up in 70 fuck me ah <sighs> Austria would still join there. Fucking hell. Alright, improve relations with Urbino then. I didn't realize the truce was still going on. That's my bad. So, November 70. It's not terribly long away. It's a little over a year. I suppose we can get rid of some of this war exhaustion. Although it is going away super slowly. I don't want to just integrate these guys eventually. Uh, we could build a church in Rome. Actually, we're fed a decent amount of money. Um, yeah. Seems wise. And also, let's start building another fleet. Eight ships. To start with, and uh, we'll, we'll try not lose them this time. That would be nice. How much is Ravenna giving me, income-wise? Um, it's making me... Where, where do I see that again? Uh, that's trade power. Where's the income one? Oh, there, taxes. Not a whole lot. Not, not a whole lot of money. But it's better than nothing. I'll take it. <laughs> It's uh, November 70. Oh, we're not even in November 69 yet. 
I will come eventually. All right, so for this, I kind of want to go with a dip idea, and I'm thinking maybe influence might be nice. I'm not sure, though. There's also the option of diplomatic, which is pretty decent, especially for lowered impact on stability from diplo actions, and province war score cost is really nice, and it's actually all pretty fucking good. Espionage apparently got a buff, but I don't know. Never been something I've been too interested with. Although aggressive expansion impact negative 20% is really fucking good. Um, trade, I always like trade ideas. It's a bit boring, but I like it. Hmm, I don't know. I don't rightly know. To go defensive ideas for the extra morale. Really good in the early game. Mm, I'm gonna go with diplomatic. But I'm not gonna take it because we're already really behind on all of our techs and stuff. One more year, and then Florence is going down. He's allied with Naxos. Not really too worried about that. The Ottomans are not doing too much interesting. That's good for us. Ferrara, we might want to start getting a claim on here. Oh, never mind. Allied with France, Naples, uh, sorry, France, Genoa, Venice, Bologna. Bologna is a free city, so there's a point in looking at that. Venice might be an option to attack. It's only allied with Ferrara. If we attack, you know, if we make a claim, say, on Padova, they'll bring in Ferrara. We could take Ferrara in that war, although, you know, not being a co belligerent is certainly not ideal. Now, we've only got one dude, and we're still. Barely breaking even on the income. Money's gonna be an issue until we take, you know, Ferenz, which is, you know, a pretty damn good city. France is influencing on Foix, not interested. I'm interested in this fucking truce. Nobody loses influence, that's good. Although, mission wise, I need. The nobility to have influence lower than 60 but uh, sorry lower than 50 but their loyalty above 65 that's super difficult super difficult counter reformation i need to convert places not gonna happen i have 500 gold it's gonna be interesting <laughs> not very easy rebuild the papal treasury i need curia treasury to have 2000 and it's already there then get a new basilica i need rome to have 40 dev I get yearly devotion. It doesn't seem that good. Crush the Italian... Oh, wait. Uh, this one, I need six provinces in the north to be owned by me. And then I'll get claims on Tuscany and Liguria and Piedmont. Then I need to take this. So basically, it wants me to go up here and then back down again. Interesting. I need 100% of my force limit and I'll get a sexy general. Mm, is that doable? Is that doable? I need five extra guys. I sure as shit can't afford it right now. Potentially. I can't even build five extra guys. I need 50 gold and I don't have 50 ducats. Yeah, I think uh, we're going to have to wait on that one as well. Early papal missions. Not easy. Actually, the early game of the papal state is just in general not easy. I mean, it may be easy for some people, but I don't know. maybe I'm just a little bit out of practice. Let's put it that way. Come on, I need I need the time to pass a bit quicker. Let's uh, let's pump it up to speed five. The first of the papal fleet. Uh, we're we're gonna rename this to the Holy Fleet. There we go. It's the Holy Fleet uh, has has been created. Absent merchant, oh yeah, that's fine. Gain some mercantilism. The Holy Fleet grows slowly over time. So, November 1470, it's coming up. Uh oh. It's October. Got a hundred spy network strength on him. Ferenz should fall really quickly with that. Because Florence is over, let's get you back home. And now we attack. Nexos won't even join. Beautiful. So we're going to go with the excommunicated ruler one to take Firenze. And of course, we do have to take care of the Florentine pre peasants, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. They're peasants, after all. 
Uh, Florence did actually have a fairly decent sized army. Now, shall we go and take care of your army? I think so. Actually, why bother? You can't even siege Rome. Fuck it. I'm gonna go siege uh, Arezzo. You can go and siege Urbino if you like. Oh no, you're going to my other provinces. Uh, fine. Maybe I should have fought you in Rome. Come on, come join me. We're gonna go and attack him. He's probably gonna go to the mountains, which sucks. But shouldn't be too much of an issue if we, uh, you know, encourage him to go elsewhere. Come on, where are you going now? Oh, you want to go to Urbino, eh? We well, we got you. And you're probably going to retreat to Firenze and we're going to murder you there. He does have better tech than us. I'm almost certain. He's on tech 5, we're on tech 5, so I guess not. But he did roll a 9 to our 0, so that sure shit doesn't help. Oh, I and mean, then we rolled a 1. And then we rolled an eight. Finally, some good uh, good rolls for us. Even so, he's really not. He's, he's being mean. He can shit out of us. Anyway, let's uh, m march on Firenze. We'll be able to stack wipe him there. You can take over that siege. I said take over that siege. Make sure he doesn't get new troops. Is he still excommunicated? He is. Very nice. All right, so our influence is going to grow in the center of Italy quite substantially with this war. And I'm very happy with that. Hell yeah. We've also got a breach in Firenze. Our siege takes are... Fucking hell. Spine work is negative 20%, but still, it's still taking 28 days. Ugh. Why? I need nine troops for this, so I'm going to get rid of the cav. I'm going to get rid of another... Couple of, couple of dudes. I don't want to sack this area, so we're going to move out. We've definitely got enough admin power to core it all, I think. So we are just going to wait for the sieges to complete. Uh, we could also then just straight up go into Lucca, depending on how much aggressive expansion this is. Let's wait and see on that one. But yeah, this is... Uh, Finally going well for me, although, having said that, look, are about to die to Genoa. Hmm. France declared war upon England, so 100 years war, full effect. Good stuff. I'm gonna see Firenze fall soon. Not that soon. We're definitely gonna see uh, Lucca fall, which is annoying. I'd rather not fight Genoa. Savoy Imereti. There's Friends Fallen. Sue him for peace. I want them both. That's going to be 37 aggressive expansion. However, we do have claims. We need to start another war. Let's declare war upon Lucca. So that the Emperor can't tell us no just yet. We're also going to take all of his money, 105 ducats, piece him out, immediately get to coring both of these, and because we're at war, the Emperor can't say, you're not allowed to do that, he's not, he's not going to be able to do that. So we're just going to, we're just going to sit as we are, Tunis has rivaled me, the bastard. Enna is still a free city, so there's nothing I can do to him. We're just going to wait here and hope that we're going to be good. Some more tech seems nice as well. Go to the Holy Fleet. The Holy Fleet is now at four ships. How lovely. So, oh. <laughs> And you're no longer a rival for me. Okay. Well, luck is probably going to get full annexed here. It's almost certainly. So that sucks. However... Hopefully, I'm going to be able to core these in that time. Probably not, but potentially? Depends on how... I don't know. Not a chance. Not a chance. 
I need to find another war. Who do I attack? Ferrara? No, not a chance. Uh, also not Venice. I really don't want the uh, the Emperor to deny me this. I'd love to attack Naples. I'd love for Naples to not be a French puppet. That really is the thing that screwed me the most. I mean, if I had been able to take all of this, I'd be in such a good position. Looks like Austria's at war with Serbia. Hey Russia, you want to get involved? Oh, no Russia. So that's why... World War War uh, One is not happening. Fun stuff. Right, so what's gonna happen to Lucca here? If they make him a vassal, I'm fucked as well. That's why I'm not putting my maintenance down. I will discover Dongola and Sahara and Nubia and Khazar Izbrim. Uh sure. Hello there. General Kenobi. Alright, so hopefully we'll be able to get these cord. He's taken a while to piece this guy out. I imagine you probably had friends, yeah. Um, Provence is being attacked now as well. So that's good. Diplomatic insult from Siena. Ah, we'll ease the tension, get rid of some of that. Uh, the, uh, you know not likingness that he's currently got on me. Totally the perfect word for that, I know. Uh, let's also get a marketplace in Rome. Probably a good idea. It looks like Provence actually got a fair number of troops. Tell you what, everyone, join on me. We're going to Ravenna. What's this? An agenda is about to expire. What was my agenda? Oh, I need to befriend Genoa. <gasps> oh, fuck, I completely forgot about that. I completely forgot about that. How long have I got? 75. Three... Yeah, I've got one year. Okay, I've got a year to make Genoa like me. Um, If I got rid of the alliance with Milan, peaced out with Lucca, we'd probably be able to do it. We'd also be able to give him a cardinal. I feel like we might be able to, to do it here. Fight of Roma. Uh, fine. This sucks balls, but I think we might be okay. Maybe. Maybe. But I would need to break my alliance with Milan. I'd probably pick up Genoa as an ally instead. So voice a war with the Ottomans. The conquest of Lesbos. Okay, so the Ottomans have attacked Genoa. Uh, let's get that. We can now build coastal defenses. I'm not going to, because I don't really want them... Uh, coastal defenses make blockading harder, and you can't disembark as fast. Which can be useful, certainly. Alright, as soon as these calls are done, I'm going to peace out, honestly. I didn't expect them to take so long to win their war. Aha, fuck you, Austria. Also, let's add this to the Empire. You're going to be done March 73. That's this year. Two more cores, please. Perfect. All right. Let's peace out with you. Uh, I mean, could go and send him and take some money. Uh, there's nothing else I can do. If I ask for even three ducats, he's not going to allow it. So let's peace out. Genoa, I would love to be your friend. 86 away. Mm. All right. So we're going to appoint a cardinal. Hey, whoa, 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 what the fuck? I would like to appoint a cardinal. Oh, I can't use the Curia Treasury. And I also don't know what that fucking noise was. Um, if I broke my alliance with um, Milan, I get rid of 50. Um, I keep improving. I need. I didn't improve relations with him, that's also a bad thing. Um, I could give him some money. I don't really want to give him money, though. An alliance would be the best option here. We're at negative 63, though. Definitely going to make that a state. 
it's valuable. And like I say, I just need to get to plus 100. Oh man, I completely forgot about it. What happens if I fail? I would gain 10 loyalty if I win. Uh, if I fail, I lose 5 loyalty. It's not terrible, but having this be good is good for us, you know? I'd love to be able to appoint a cardinal, but yeah, can't. Ay 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 ay. Um, we've not got very long. There's no way I'm going to be able to improve relations to that point. I need the alliance to go through. And even then, it's not really going to work. Unless he changes his neutral stance to me. I think we've probably failed that one, if I'm being honest. That sucks. That really sucks. And now Austria's taken Serbia as well. Austria's are just an absolute beast right now. Absolute beast. Well, we're not at war, so let's protect trade in Genoa. Your rivals with Crimea and Milan. I have a free rival slot. I could make Milan my rival, then we get rival of rival. And might be able to ally him then. Let's give that a go, I guess. Oh, no. Rival of rival uh, for... No, oh, wait, no, no. Yeah, no. Hmm, shit. Remove that. I was improving with Savoy. I don't know why I was improving with Savoy. Get rid of that. Uh, Alright, let's dissolve the alliance with you. Genoa. You are at very close. If we were to... I mean, I'd love to appoint a cardinal, but can't use that, and I don't have the money for that. I don't know what this noise is, by the way. I don't know why that's happening. Um, I could send a gift. We're at plus 58 right now. Can I make Milan a rival? No. I don't know why not, though. Wait one more month, see if I can do it on the monthly tick. Milan. Nope. Milan here. No. Tunis is only possible. Um... Hey, we're really close now, actually. I need to do it... September is the ninth month. I need to do it by tomorrow. Okay, so we failed. Fuck. I got rid of my alliance with Milan for no reason. Fuck you. We were so close. We were really close. And now I don't have an alliance with Milan, which sucks. Which really, really sucks. Damn it. Have you protect trade in Genoa as well? Alright, well, um, it's been a bit of a long episode. I probably should have ended it a while ago. Uh, so apologies and or thank you for your welcome, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to put a cut in here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.